everyone, I'm Donna Downey from Donna Downey Studios and I'm going to be showing you all the versatility that the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft line can do. The first techniques I'm going to be showing you are using the Gelato line from Design Memory Craft. They are in a wide array of colors and I'm going to show you some techniques with water and some techniques without to incorporate into your art projects. Another really fun way to incorporate gelatos into your artwork is with stamping. Now I like to use large images so I get a nice real big watercolored effect image onto my work and I also use fabric as well as paper to do this. So I'm going to show you how using stamps on both look. So I'm going to take, this is just a large foam stamp and because this is a dry media you don't have to worry about any drying time and you can colorize it as you wish and I'm just going to use some blue and some purple do my best to color the entire surface. You don't need to worry about colors blending because that's kind of the nature of watercolors. So I can go right into another color and blend right on top. If you did this and walked away, you don't have to worry about anything drying. So it's almost the easiest way to get color onto a stamp. And I'm using a foam stamp for this one and on the second one I will use a rubber stamp. Okay, I think I've got the whole thing covered. Now you could actually just take this and stamp it as is. Some color will transfer, but it's much nicer a look if you spray some water on it and activate the color. So I'm gonna put several spritzes of water so I get it nice and dreamy. Um, depending on how much water, depends on how watercolory your effect will be. I'm just gonna take this and stamp. You get a perfect pristine watercolored image, and I can't think of any other way you can get watercolor onto a stamp except for the gelatos. So if I don't put more color on this, I still get a couple more stamps out of it. I'm just going to put a little bit more water. It'll be lighter, but you'll get that variegated effect. And you can keep on going until you have no more color left. So now I'm going to take a large rubber stamp and it works just as nice as the foam stamp but I do always say try to get a less detailed stamp than something that's fine print because it is watercolor and once you spray water on it it's going to then start to bleed a little bit. And I'm going to put greens and blacks and reds and oranges on here because they're poppies and I'm blending all the color right on the stamp. Again, like I said, you could stamp this down and get some color to transfer, but it's not as nice unless you spritz it. And you can get more than one. And you can keep going till all of your color goes away. Stamping with the gelatos is a great way to add detail to your work and there also are metallic gelatos and if you see on this journal page you can see just a little bit of the shimmer of the gelato in there. All of these flowers have been stamped with the gelatos and they make the great basis of a story.